Hi everybody, Dimitri here. I just wanted to talk today briefly about how we become what we hate and how this, is gonna, how this shows up when you work with people um, and it creates shadows for people. So um, when I first started doing my personal work, if there was one thing that I knew, it is that I was not like the worst aspects of my father. Right? My father actually had some physiological problems that caused him to have unpredictable rages and they weren't really well diagnosed, stuff like that. So the thing that I knew more than I knew anything else was that I was not an angry person. That was my, my, biggest, my biggest thing. And so I would say to people, I'm not angry. I'm not an angry person. And they would, you know, either agree with that and walk away or they would point out that maybe I did seem a little angry. What had happened was I had become what I hated and this happens to everybody. And so when we're working with people, we need to have an eye for this. Here's how it works. If we're exposed to something that is hurtful to us, we will make a decision to not be like that, right? This isn't particularly a shocking revelation. But what happens when we've made a decision inside ourselves that we are not a certain way, what happens is we stop, we lose the ability to see when we start to be that way. And it can start in some small way. I was like, I'm not an angry person. But what all that meant was that when I did express anger, I was the only one who didn't see it. And the problem with that is, it'll tend to get worse, right? It's, it's like a whole separate self starts to be developed of all the ways that we've claimed we could never be. So uh, I had um, angry behaviors that I was completely unaware of, but other people were. And because I couldn't see it, I couldn't manage it, I couldn't be responsible for it, and it would could just become worse and worse. And this will happen to people who you work with, so we wanna keep an eye open for who do they say they could never be like? What do they say they are not like? And you know, we see this on a societal level and group stuff like that. Um, you know, politically, people saying, well, I could never be intolerant, right? The people who speak the most about never being intolerant, right? They're the most intolerant. Why? Because they can't see it when they're doing it. So in analyzing people you work with or in terms of trying to analyze, move through the world and figure out, well, who do you want to believe? Who do you want to not believe? Think about what have they said they are not like? What have they sworn that they are not like? And start to look for that in their behavior because you will see it. Individuals, groups, kind of identity groups, organizations, uh, affinity groups. Whenever we've made the decision to not be like something, all that does is take it out of our awareness. So uh, be aware. Of, and also, you know, you can look for this in yourself. I mean, you could do that right now and think to yourself, well, what? What have I decided I'm not like? What do I know, K-N-O-W, know that I am not like? And then kind of take a step back and say, all right, just for a moment, just for like a, 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 a mental uh, experiment, I'm gonna ask myself, what if I am that way? If I made a lot of vows about um, being inclusive, where am I not inclusive? If I, you know, how, how, if I made vows that I'm not, um, that I'm not a jerk, where am I a jerk? If I'm not intolerant, who am I intolerant for? And then in what ways do I sort of um, rationalize those behaviors? And step back a little, you'll start to see some shadow. And this is, of course, what we help people do when we work with them as well, is, is we help them start to see some shadow and start to bring some mercy and compassion to that. So I say, you know what? Okay, I do have those. I, I, I had to start to see it myself. I, I do have anger, and that doesn't mean I'm a bad person even though that was something I really was afraid of. I was afraid, or, or for me, a big one was arrogance. I had made, you may have heard me talk about this before, I had made huge decisions that I was not an arrogant person because I had seen the damage arrogant people had done. But all that did was put my arrogance in shadow where I couldn't see it. And not only did I have to start acknowledging that I had it, but I had to start acknowledging that I was a human being and I was okay and there wasn't a problem, even though I had it. I had to start to extend some mercy to myself even though I was arrogant. So anyway, I just wanted to, to put that out there, how we become what we hate. Um, and thank you for watching. If you have any examples you want to share in the comments, that'd be great. And I'll talk to you later.